Hey everyone, uh, today we're looking at primarily four different styles for the reference card and we also have some Founders Edition uh, examples by Bixky and sh going to show some of the differences between them and even some EK and Alpha Cool also. Um, so let me switch over to my main screen. All right, so we're covering the NVIDIA 3080 and 3090. Uh, again, primarily the Bixby models. But we'll cover a few more. So there's a picture of it, and I'll try to zoom in where I can. Model N-RTX 3090 X. Um, you'll know the Founders Edition models. This one's a reference. You'll know the Founders Editions. They'll have an FE after that 90. It'll be 3080 FE or 3090 FE X. And I'll show you a picture of one here in just a few minutes. Um, let's go back. This is the ARGB version of it. It basically can have multiple colors on the same uh, light stream. RGB, you get one color at a time. You can change the colors, but one at a time. This is the clear edition that doesn't have any uh, light cabling hooked up to it. It's shown with the power cord there, but it won't be included if you go clear. And that'll be an option in the prices. This is the black POM version of it. It's black, some type of acrylic plastic. And this is the black outside with showing the inside. And we're about to cover all those pads um, where you need to put either on paste or... Um, there's two different types of paste, they say, and it's, uh, or thermal pads. Uh, remember these cards aren't even out and released to anybody except for maybe maybe some reviewers have it maybe they don't nobody has any of these cards or nobody has any of these water blocks except the manufacturers yet so at this point we're kind of guessing but I'll show you where it shows we're going to cover the pads with thermal paste or whatnot Uh, it's another shot, just a small. We're still looking at the reference card edition right now. Uh, again, reference card, just a different view. Clear reference card. Reference card again. All right. Optionally, you can buy back plates. Most of your uh, third party or like uh, vendor reference cards will have a back plate you'll find some the cheaper ones that, that you save some money on will not have a back plate that's the part that'll be on top usually if your cars cards mounted normally uh, most of them will come with one but occasionally you'll find some that don't come with one if you want to put a black plate on you can this is uh also an unknown because on the 39 these are supposed to be vrm or memory on the back of the card and we don't know yet we haven't seen it we don't have any diagrams I'll show you a picture of what we do have so far and uh, but we don't know what the back is going to look like so if there needs to be more additional water cooling on the back side we don't know yet well I'm talking about that we also don't know how many watts this thing's going to pull up to 350 400 watts if you got it in the system with a 10 900 K also pulling about much that much wattage uh, it's looking right now that you're gonna need at least a 850 watt if you run a 10 900 K and a 3090 in the same system and you got your overclocking turned on man you're looking at uh, around 800 watts 700 to 800 and some of you are young enough you don't even remember those old 100 watt light bulbs regular lamp light bulbs used to buy 60 uh, 
60s, 100s, 75-watt just regular light bulbs. Now they come mostly in LED, some sort of LED, so the watt has changed. But those old light bulbs, incandescent, they used to get hotter than hell. Well, if you're pushing 800 of those, that's about eight of those light bulbs inside of a PC case. Um, that's going to be hot as heck. <laughs> so that's why we're look everyone's looking at water cooling right now. Uh, I can't imagine having eight of those light bulbs burning all day long inside of a case. Um, it's one of the reasons it might be the big advantage to the AMD um, models, come, big Navi coming out, is they uh, man, they might use a lot less power. So here is a LCD color LCD temperature gauge for it. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. It just replaces the plastic that's on the top of the card. Here's another view of it, kind of showing it. And that would be pretty cool. I'd spring for that. doesn't show the wire, but there is a wire attachment for it. All right, here's in the gray is the areas, and I counted them. There's nine, including the GPU areas to cover. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison and outline them. Uh, red circle I'm here in a minute. This is a reference card. You see the two eight pins up there at the top? The Founders Edition will have one 12 pin standing on the edge. This would be a reference card with two eight pins. Um, that'll be the, the big difference. The Founders Edition will be notched out. You'll see a picture of it in a second. Again, this is the block for the reference. All right, here's the first picture of the Founders Edition we've looked at. And let's just grab a circle. In the actual name that's engraved on the block, uh, let me get out of full screen here for a second. Right here, there is an FE in that model name right there. So that's a difference, and you'll see the block looks different. It's got a little notch up here at the top, too. So it already looks a lot different than the previous block. So you need to keep eye out make sure you don't buy the wrong one there. All right, here's your first look with me. This is the Founder's Edition. Um... Zoom in on this, and I'm about to show you the differences between the two. Over on the right-hand side, you'll see that 12-pin connector at the top on the Founders Edition, and you also see the notch. And the reference board is not notched and has like two 8-pins. So let's move on from that. Another picture of the Founders Edition. All right, now these two do not match, so we just looked. The top is Founders Edition, the bottom is a reference. So you need to make sure you don't buy the wrong water block. Will not work with each other. Basically, you see the power pins circled up there, and there's some, we don't have any of these cards yet, so we can't look and see on the cards that there's a difference in number of rows right there between the memory VRMs, but it's showing we don't really know what the reference card is looking like right now. These, This is not a match, Founders Editions and Reference on the bottom. All right, here is a match, the Reference Edition, and I'm going to circle the nine different places it's showing. Um, Let's get out of full screen here. Um, the nine different places. All right, grab the thing. There's one. Now onto the bottom picture, the block picture of the block. There it is. 
Okay, got one here and one here. Since matching on the bottom, got one up here. And this is looks similar to the 5700 XT, but I think I only had five different places to cover on that one. There's one, and here's the corresponding one on the block. Um, there's one on the bottom right there. There's the matching one right there. There's this one for the memory. There it is on the block. Um, I didn't get this one yet. And so I got another one up here. And then I got one way on over here. And this one's kind of unclear what to do with it. It looks like it's coming on this little edge rail right here. And then, of course, you got the GPU in the middle of it all. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places. And so just come back. There's two different types of thermal paste also, which is, that's kind of unique. Um, the previous ones I've done, I've only used thermal pads. This one is telling you use thermal paste. So this is going to be a learning curve for, I think, for everybody uh, at this part. All right, here's another pick of it. Uh, Here's the water flow on the thing. So it comes in by the front or the back of the case and goes down through and then to the right there. And this will be right over the GPU. It flows through the fins both ways. So it's got two channels. It flows into the main chamber over here and then back up and out. And... I'm trying to reach, see what the graph means. But anyway, the cold water will be the blue. And out will be after it's run through. These are basically copper inside. And then, um, see, what's it say? T2 copper plate. And they're nickel coated. Cold head graphics card covers GPO core RAM, power supply, and chip MOS. Yeah, tantalum capacitor. And other components with high calorific value okay the heat transferred to the water cooling head is carried away by the water to achieve the performance of cooling sure the players get a good game experience and stable performance yeah okay all right so there's a close-up on the dual chamber and can't really see how it's flowing in right in this picture but it goes in and then it goes uh, both directions out of it right here and right here back to the central chamber. And once you have it, you'll be able to see. So it comes in on, let's see, the front. It would be this side and flows back towards the back. So you, you'll be able to read this on your own time. This is from one from the 2080 Ti, which they just threw in that imp for information. All right, here's the difference between the light modes. Uh, most people know this by now. The 12 volt is the four pin RGB. You get one color at a time. You can choose any color, but one color at a time. So at the bottom of this is the five volt A RGB. Uh, the whole string can have multiple colors, you know, rainbow, s circulating, however you want to do it. It match up with your R sync or whatever, whatever type of sync software you're using for your RGB or ARGB. And this is the same. Two on the left are RGB models, one color at a time. The two on the left are a RGB addressable RGB and again covering the difference between the wires the a RGB at the top on this one has multiple 
colored lights. Where's the whole string on the bottom for the 12 volt RGB, one color at a time? Uh, this particular water block comes with a lighting controller. It looks like a 10 port, uh, depending on which one you buy, the 12 volt or 5 volt ARGB, and a remote control to go with it. So make sure you pick which one you want when you're buying these. Again, the links are inside the um, description on YouTube. And it's showing you the difference between the pins. Uh, the 12 volt RGB, that's the older style. And it, um, I'm going to go ahead and circle this just so nobody does it, hopefully. There is an arrow on almost all these uh, cables that points to the plus side on this because there's four pins that can go on in reverse. And then you fry all your lights. Or your motherboard even put it on wrong now the other one you can actually stick this on a three pin incorrectly and do the same thing um, because it's got four holes it'll still go on a three pin so don't do that either you'll need one of these wires five volt wires um, for the three pin and the middle one's blocked off do not stick the four hole one on the three post one five volt one either one or the other will fry your uh, string of lights or even your motherboard do not do that this is basically saying make sure you have the correct port either a 12 volt or 5 volt and get the right model of lights same thing here I put this red uh, block there wasn't a narrow mark in it there will be embedded in the plastic an arrow pointing down on the plus, on this plus right here, this first pin, plus side. So just pay attention to that one. These three pin walls, you won't have a post in the middle, and the th third one should be blocked out where it only goes on one way. But it's the same deal. Arrow will be on the positive side. All right, here's part one of the installation color parameters. Remove the original, yeah, apply silicone grease, paste silicone pad. <clears throat> it's unclear at this point what you're going to get with the cards. It's not shown um, in any of the sales literature yet, but one says memory stick thermal paste for these memory pads. The other one says moss tube stick thermal paste. It's not, and most oftentimes these are thermal pads, so we are not sure for these moss sets what we're getting because it says paste. I don't know whether they just didn't put it down right. And normally you wouldn't be pasting these either. Um, the GPU you might paste. It's showing paste right there for sure. So that's a little bit unclear at this time what you're going to get and how the correct way to do it. Um, I'll definitely, I'm going to get one of these. Um, look back in the link and kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I also have a 5700 XT with 3950X video where I water cooled the uh, 5700 RX 5700 XT Anniversary Edition. I got 35 seat temperature drops um, at the hot spot the junction point so it was well worth it and that was also a Bixky block like we're looking at here I'm I'm sold on Bixky blocks 35c on my last water cooling job on one and this is basically how you put your card back together um, what screws you need where it goes and how to put the back plate on as well and all, everything you've seen so far is on the website where you buy these um, so here's our product this is G1 quarter as far as the pipe size this is pretty much the standard for tube size 
uh, 14 millimeter tubes on the outside, 10 millimeter on the inside. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here that's really special in this one. There's your lengths if anybody wants to uh, measure their case and the heights. Uh, just to make sure, this probably be a lot thinner than a reference card, maybe half inch thinner. Of course, I'm in the USA. Um, all right, now we're we also have some EK water box. We got some pictures of those. We're starting into the EK for the reference card, and it's a similar deal on what needs cool. I do see a big difference here. There's two chips that see, um, where was it at the top? Two chips somewhere. I'm gonna zoom back for a second here. Yeah, these chips right here, they're not on the EK water block and I don't know why they're so I want everybody to pay attention that way that was that way before on the other EK blocks they just didn't cool some of these chips that Bixky says are hot enough to cool and I trust Bixky more than I do EK honestly that's just me uh, but these are not let's go back to the EK water block and take a look See if they're there. What side were they on? Okay. Okay, they should have been up here, right? But there's no pads like there are on. Should have been somewhere in this area, I believe. And why they're choosing not to cool them and they don't really cover. Um, what's getting cooled or not so they don't have their instructions ready yet in other words um, and this might not be a final product as well but the, I did spot that difference right off the bat and it's possible they mount somewhere up here I don't know yet All right, this is just another picture of it once it's got some fluid in it I would have to say I do like the look of the acrylic better, although I do not think that makes it a better card. I think the chamber's much bigger in this area right here on the big ski. I cover a lot more area, at least if heat's getting to it. A lot more water is going to be in that area. Uh, I actually think the big ski. I don't know. I'm not going to say this is worse or better design, but my experiences with Bixky is I've got really good results with them. Okay, another picture of the EK with no water in it. And I'm trying to look right now. You can't really see from this side where those two chips are at. Uh, yeah, I don't see them on this one either. They should be right up here, but they're not on this block. All right, and this is the last picture of EK right there. Um, I thought I had an Alpha Cool, but I do have it somewhere else. All right. Now let me check my notes. I know there was some more stuff here. Um, so basically from Bixky right now we got five different styles. Four for the reference and one, well, with the lights, different color lights. There'll probably be four on the FE version also, just like it. One with RGB, one with ARGB, one that's clear with no lights, and then one with black POM. That whatever type of acrylic that is. The back plates are optional, so is the color LCD temperature gauge. They do have other versions of the temperature gauge as well, which I used on the 5700XC. 
There's nine locations that uh, need to be covered with either pads or paste, and that's kind of up in the air at this point. And two different types are mentioned, memory stick and moss tube space. Uh, again, the main comparison I made was on the reference edition. Um, all the four links to buy that I'm putting in there, they say Founders Edition, but they're for reference editions. Uh, this is all brand new. All of it just got released today. They haven't corrected everything yet. Nobody's got a finished product yet, and including these sales pitches. Bixky's got this card out for sale right now, but it's for the references. The four buy links I got in there are for reference edition. Um, the Founders Edition from Bixi will have an FE in the name. And I got links to one of those, too. Um, I haven't found any of them to buy. The ones that were out are sold out. And then the EK and Alpha Cool. Alpha Cool is holding up till a final product gets released for more pictures. Um, also in there, I have a link to my 30, the one where I water cooled the RX 5700 XT Anniversary Edition and got a 35C temperature drop. It's definitely worth it on these high-end cards to water cool. Um, this is a copper block that's nickel-plated. It'll have the acrylic or palm for the cover. G one quarter for the size of the holes in there for the pipe holes and i think that's about it for this right now so thanks for taking a look uh i do have some links pulled up references for you to go check out um so here's a story on videocards.com it kind of shows you the difference between founders and reference edition there's and here's a link to the easy modding for a founder's edition that's sold out right now but you might be able to and here is the one that's sold out so 924 looks like it's supposed to get back in stock and we also looked at that get back over to the founder's edition model Right, there's the Founders Edition model. Same what that links up here. And that's from EasyModding.com. And the links from video cards. Uh, here's the blog post from EK explaining the reference card is not the Founders Edition card. Kind of covering uh, this thing right here and this cutout at the back. That's a Founders Edition. Reference card is going to have two 8 pins and it's not going to be cut out right here. And here's a link to the EK on sale. I would say this is about $50 more expensive um, without the accessories than $50 to $60 more expensive than the Bixki. In my experience, Bixki is every bit, a bit as good or better. So I'll be buying the Bixki again. And... You already heard what I said about it. it. Looks like it's missing a couple blocks to be cooled there. All right, these I included four links from four different vendors where to get this. And these are not, even though they say Founders Edition right here, these are not Founders Edition. Get over one of these. Wish I could get in close on one of those. They'll have FE in the name right here if they are Founders Edition. So you'll just have to look and look for yourself. And here's another vendor. Same product. You'll see all pretty much most of the stuff we covered there is in the list. Even though it says Founders Edition. Um, let's go to View Image. 
So you can't really see in this description right here. Um, and then, anyway, there's four different vendors here, and you can be checking. It. Again, says Founders Edition, but from what I can see, this is not the Founders Edition. Founders Edition will have that notch in the plastic, and it, uh, um, for that 12-pin connector, and you'll see a notch in the plastic here at the back. And one more vendor. Here's a link from WSCCF Tech, um, basically covering this. It's for the 3080 and 3090. And here's the Alpha Cool one. Also a story on WCCF Tech. All right, guys, you can leave uh, any questions in the comments, and thanks for watching. And let me switch this gears for a second. All right, thanks much. I'm going to let you go. I'm out. Peace.